Hello to everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to plot a pie chart in MATLAB. First of all, you need to write certain commands CLC, clear all, close all. These are the commands to clear the command window. Now, you need to take input values from the user. You can take them in the form of an array. Here, I am taking them as 200, 300, 500, and 500. These are the four sample values that are stored in the variable x. Now I am going to make use of pi function to plot it on the command window pi x. Now we will run it and see the output on command window. Now there will be one thing in your mind how this is happening. So there are total of two possibilities. Possibility number one is that when the sum of all the element is greater than or equal to one like here we are having element 200, 300, 500 and 500 and their summation is 2000 which is greater than or equal to 1. In that case it finds this uh, particular segment by using the formula x upon sum x. Here for first it is using 200 by 2000 so it will be 10 percentage. Now second case is that when sum is less than 1. In that condition, it is plotting simply by multiplying it with 100. And the part which is left will not be plotted. Now I am going to show you the example of the second case. How it is taking place here. Let us take one sample value double x equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 the summation is equal to 0 0.9 which is less than 1. Now I am going to show you how it will be plotted by double x. Now see the output on command window. Here you can see that that part is left and other part are multiplied by 100. For 0.1 it is 10, for 0.4 it is 40. Now here you can see that it is really difficult to distinguish which sample represent what color. So for that we can define the labels. We need to create a one variable labels and inside that we will define labels. First for 200, second for 300, third for 500 and fourth for 500. Now we have defined the label. We are going to make use of this pi command pi x and after that we will write labels. Once done, now we are going to run this program and see the output on the command window. Here you can see that the label has been printed. For blue it is first, for sky blue second, for yellow third and for red fourth. Now if you want to cut any particular part from this entire pie graph for that you need to define one array and in that array you need to write one to the part which you want to cut then inside the pie you need to write cut here simply we got the array error because this cut needs to be written after the x pi x cut labels now we are going to run it here you can see that first part is cut it out of this entire graph now if you want to cut two parts then you need to write one there also so 300 will also come out similarly if you want to cut all parts then you need to write one 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 everywhere now how to plot more than one pie graph in a same command window so for that you need to make use of subplot command which will be used to divide the entire frame into different parts. Subplot one to one, and this will be stored in the variable ax1. Now we will make a copy of this and we will make variable ax2 and subplot value will be changed. Now pi is a function to 
प्लॉट अ पाई ग्राफ सो पाई एक्स कट लेवल्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन एट द स्टार्टिंग वी रिट टू राइट ए एक्स वन नाउ फॉर सेकेंड कंडीशन वी नीड टू डिफाइन वन मोर सैम्पल वैल्यूज एक्स वन इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू प्लॉट दैम इन द सेकेंड पाई ग्राफ पाई ए एक्स टू कॉमा एक्स वन Now we are going to run the program and see the output on the command window. Here you can see that we didn't get the result desired result. This is because it should be subplot two comma two. Now we are going to run it again. Here you can see that we get our desired result. Now if you want to. put a title over this pie chart for that you need to write title ax1 comma the title you want to give here i am giving 2017 this needs to be done for both the subplot commands we can do it for the second case also for ax2 there we will write title ax2 equal to 2018 Now we are going to run it and see the output. Here you can see that 2018 is written above the first pie chart, but there is some error. Like here, I write, I wrote ax1 instead of ax2. So make the changes. Now we are going to run it again, and here you can see that 2017 and 18 are written in both. 